Hello, guys. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Welcome po sa aking channel. This is Teacher Ada once again. Samahan niyo po ako sa gabi nito sa aking live. Sa mga gustong magpa-shoutout, welcome na welcome po kayo. And maghihintay po tayo sa mga makakasama natin. So today, tonight pala, not today, it's night time. <laughs> Hello po sa lahat po ng viewers ko, sa lahat po ng nanonood sa gabi nito. Hello po, good evening. Um, Hintay-hintay lang po tayo. Again, ang magiging topic po natin ngayong gabi is about hit the suck okay or hit the hay so when you say what is that means we will talk about the idioms about or we're going to talk about this is lit idioms and if you have additional for this um, idioms Welcome po kayong mag-comment below if you want more. Okay, so... guys Hello po sa nanonood <laughs> Good evening. Hey guys. Welcome po kayo sa akin channel. If you have any question, I'll try to answer you guys. <laughs> yes. We have one viewer po. Hi, Polly Myriad. Thank you for watching my channel. Okay, so tonight, pag-uusapan natin is about hit the hay or hit the sack. So we will talk about the idioms, or slip idioms. <laughs> okay, do you have any idea about slip idioms? We have a lot of idioms about slip. Right, habang naghihintay po tayo ng ating audience, 
And so I think we need to talk about heat the sack with these sleep idioms. There are many ways to talk about sleep. For example, someone who is asleep is dozing or snoozing or getting some shut eye. So when you go to bed, you can say that you're hitting the sack or hitting the hay. Both sack and hay are informal words for bed. If you're very tired, you can say that you're whoop or beat. For example, I'm whoop, so I'm going to hit the sack early tonight. So that is another idioms or informal words. If a person fall a deep sleep quickly, they're out like a light. For example, Joe just went to bed and he's already out like light or out like a light. If you fall asleep quickly, you crash or pass out. If you sleep for a short time, usually during the day, you nap. So that is a very simple idiom. And if you sleep for a long time, like a bear during winter, so they call you like a bear during winter because bear, they sleep. Once that difficult to wake up from is fast asleep or sounds asleep. Some English speakers also say like a log. A log is a piece of wood from a tree. So the literal meaning is to sleep like dead tree. <laughs> yes, to sleep like a dead tree. To not sleep a wink means to not sleep at all. And if you had a hard time falling asleep, you can say that you toast and turned. You toast and turn. This means that you were moving around in bed, trying to fall asleep. For example, I was tossing and turning all night. I didn't sleep a wink. You will say like, I didn't sleep a wink. <laughs> you didn't sleep a wink because you're meaning to say the whole night your eyes are open. So, but if you sleep very well without waking up during the night, you can say, you slept like a baby, <laughs> right? So that is a very common idiom. Okay. All right, so sometimes, okay, since uh, polyamide, uh, polymyriad, you maybe you can give me some which of the expressions from the article or from what I'm talking about sounds interesting? Or do you have any idea about the idiom? Okay, so I will give you guys different kind of um oh the toes and turn i guess <laughs> oh yes the toes and turn mm. yes that's right when you say toes and turn that's correct mm, not toast <laughs> It's T O S S E D, toast. Um, if you will say T O A S T, toast, like uh, you toast bread. <laughs> but toast, T O S S E D, is just like you're toasting. Chump up. <laughs> Okay, so I'll send you the audio. Yes. Yes, correct. That is toast. 
<laughs> That's correct. It's like tosing, T-O-S-S-I-N-G. Tosing. Or you can just like tosing. <laughs> okay, so I want to give you twenty uh twenty five idioms. Um, I think you hear this from time to time, like. Okay, the first one I want to tell you is a catnap. Are you familiar with a catnap? <laughs> catnap. Are you familiar with catnap? When you say catnap, it's a literal cut and a nap you put together. <laughs> Something like catnap. Catnap, yes. That is literal cat and nap. <laughs> So, meaning to say, when you say cut nap, that is a short sleep in a day. Sometimes we're using, nowadays what we are using, like, a, I just get a power nap. I want, to uh, I want to take a power nap or power nap. But actually, another idiom of that one is cut nap. Yes, anytime, as long as the daytime. In the morning, in the afternoon, a little bit late afternoon, cat nap. Or we call power nap. <laughs> diba? Pag nag-rides tayo ng motorcycle, pag tayo sumusobra na yung antok natin, sinasabi natin, okay, let's stop sa 7-Eleven. Magpa-power nap lang tayo ng 5 minutes. Or 2 minutes. Or yung 5 minutes na sinabi natin na abot ng 15 minutes. Or aabot ng 30 minutes. Hanggang masarap ang matulog ng 1 hour. <laughs> diba? Pag nagra-rides tayo, pag tayo nagta-travel, pumupunta tayo sa mga uh, countryside. Yan. Alam mo yan, polymeriad, kasi naging magkasama tayong nagra-rides. <laughs> okay. So another word that I want to share with you tonight is a night owl. I think a night owl you and I is a night owl, someone who stays up late, someone who function better at night, and that's me. <laughs> In the morning, I feel so sleepy, okay? It's really hard for me to move, but I'm early bird. Even though natutulog lang ako ng short hours sa gabi, like two hours, three hours, still, Kumigising pa rin ako ng early in the morning. And then I feel sleepy. <laughs> yes. Feeling ko, antok na antok pa rin ako. So, that's another idioms. Another term po ay uh, sleeping or a sleeping giant. Okay, a sleeping giant, I think this is very common and familiar. Uh, when you say sleeping giant, um, one of the countries na pinaguring sleeping giant is China. Yes. So, they're one of the sleeping giant. Bakit po kaya tinawag sila sleeping giant? Because they are unrealized or emerging power. So, some, they are the countries, um, they, don't re, uh, they don't really realize yet Maybe now they are powerful, <laughs> or nagipun sila ng power. <laughs> so they are the sleeping giant. Okay, let's move to the fourth one: a sleeping partner. Meron po ba kayong katabi dyan? Meron kayong ka partner? A sleeping partner. Di po ito yung literal na natutulog ni yung asawa. <laughs> When you say or when you heard the sleeping partner, um, that's another idioms. Um, it talks about a partner in a firm or who doesn't take a share in the workload. We need to say, for example, um, you have a business partner. 
then he's not helping you to do or to do his part his responsibility as your um, workmate so he's a sleeping partner All right so if you have another question or if you want to add on another thing that you know what kind of idioms then just let me know guys okay this one is really good beauty sleep <laughs> Sa mga girls, beauty sleep. Okay? When you say beauty sleep, maybe the first thing come out in our, in our mind is the beauty. Be sleeping beauty. <laughs> the fairy tale. Uh, beauty sleep, that, that means a stretch of sleep will keep one young and beautiful. So that is the beauty sleep. Okay, so another idioms is fast sound asleep. Fast sound asleep. Or fast asleep or sound asleep. Okay. All right, so meaning to say when you say fast asleep, oh, she fast asleep. Wow, sound asleep. That means some people, they sleep deeply or deeply asleep. Okay, another thing, 40 winks. Do you know what is 40 winks? <laughs> Guys, do you know what is 40 winks? As in literal, 40, 40 winks. So when you say 40 wings, the meaning of 40 wings is the same of the cat's catnap, a short sleep in the day. So this is uh, another term of catnap or power nap. That is uh, a short sleep in the day. Okay, they are the same meaning. So, um, do you have any idea, guys? Anything you want to add on? <laughs> okay, so another idioms that I want to share with you, uh, another one is not sleep. If we have in number seven, we have 40 weeks. Number eight is not sleep a week. Okay, not sleep a week. Meaning to say, not sleep at all. You're, you open your eyes wide all the time for the whole night, for the whole day, or let's say 24 hours you're awake. <laughs> That's really hard, okay? 24 hours I think I can manage, but the third day, the next day, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm looking for a bed. Okay, so another one is number nine, ready to drop. Okay, sometimes you can hear that one. Oh my God, the whole day we go around the area, we go go there and go, go back and forth. So I'm ready to drop right now. So that means that is extremely tired and you're almost falling asleep. Okay, Polly Myriad, do you remember our activities the other day when we went to... Um, Bulacan. <laughs> we are dreaming to do a road trip, but our road trip is not really a road trip. We fall asleep. <laughs> okay, so ready to drop. That means extremely tired. Yes. Yes, you're right. Same of the, yes, you're right. Same, uh, same with drop dead. <laughs> yes, they're the same meaning. They're, they're very, because we, the, the reason why you told, you say like we drop dead, that meaning to say is you're really extremely tired. You don't have energy anymore. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think yun yung pagkakataon na sinasabi natin na 
sometimes dahil sa trabaho natin, kailangan natin maging awake pa rin. Pero dahil extremely na yung pagod natin or yung antok na nararamdaman natin, kinakailangan na natin tukuran yung ating mata. <laughs> okay, so we drop dead. Tama yun. Okay, so another one. Thank you. Na-remember mo pala yung drop dead na yan. <laughs> okay, so another one po is shut eye. Shut eye. Okay, ulitin ko po. When you say shut eye number 10, sleep. Automatically sleep. Shut eye. Okay. Oh, sometimes. Oh, I think she's very tired. She shut her eye already. Okay. So, shut eye. Another word is sleep tight. <laughs> Some people are afraid using the word sleep tight. Kasi, this, I, I remember meron akong friend dati na, um, of course, sometimes kapag before kayo magiwahiwalay, pag galing kayo sa banding, uh, all right, good night, sleep tight. And then someone told me, like, don't say that. <laughs> and I'm wondering why. And then he's kidding, like, oh, maybe tomorrow I'm gonna. Hindi na ako magigising because sleep tight. <laughs> but no, the real meaning of sleep tight is sleep well. Okay, so we need, um, if you say goodbye to somebody else instead of your. You, you will say like, okay, good night, sleep well. Sometimes you are using like, sleep tight. Okay, another word, I don't know if this is familiar with you. Another word is to burn the candle at both ends. Okay, to burn, to burn the candle at both ends. Do you know, have you ever seen any candles? You burn both ends. <laughs> okay, do you know what is that means? <laughs> Guys? To burn the candles, both ends. From the other side to another side. So meaning to say, when you heard that one, burn the candles, uh, both ends, to burn the candle at the both ends, or at both ends, you need to say to go to sleep early and you need to wake up early. Only think po, one more time. To burn, to burn the candles at both ends, meaning to say to go to sleep early and wake up early. Okay. All right. So another word is to catch some, uh, to catch some, I, I forget, to catch some z, this. Or sometimes you can hear like, I want to catch some zzz. <laughs> so, what's that? <laughs> to get some sleep. Some, so, sometimes, well, may kaka-encounter po tayo ng kaibigan. Kasabihin natin, oh, I want to catch some zzz. So, meaning to say, he or she want to get some sleep. Or... Sometimes they will say, Psh. <laughs> Okay, number 14. Um, number 14 is to drop. To drop. Okay? Or node off. To drop. Node off. Something like that. <laughs> you can see, um, sometimes, you know, when we are walking to the office, especially... After lunch, the, around 1 o'clock or 2 p.m., sometimes, even at school, you know, sometimes this is like a very familiar, makikita natin, nagda-drop off yung head, nag head bang. <laughs> something like that. So, that's another idioms. Okay, so another one is to get up on the wrong side of the bed. Okay, guys, do you know what does that mean? 
Do you know what is that? To get up on the wrong side of the bed. Sometimes it happens for our, for us, to our family member, or to our friend. Mm. You did not sleep. Ah. Uh, okay, you did not sleep well. No. <laughs> Another one. Mm. To get up on the wrong side of the bed, that means uh, that is like uh, to start the day in a bad mood that lasts all day, actually. Sometimes, oh, I think you, uh, you get up on the wrong side of your bed. So meaning to say, she's not in the mood or he's not in the mood for the whole day. <laughs> yes, so that is the meaning. Okay. All right, so another one is to go out like a light. Okay, can you guess what is that means to go out like a light? <laughs> when you say, oh, sometimes you're talking with your friends and all of a sudden she goes like a light. You keep on talking, you keep on telling her about the story or you thought you're thinking like she's still conversation from this uh, but all of a sudden <laughs> she fall out like a light meaning to say she fall, she fall asleep quickly so when you say to go out like a light to fall asleep quickly. So, may mga taong ganun. They are very easy to fall like a light. Okay? Okay, so another one is to hit the hay. Okay, this is my title. To hit the hay. Okay, guys. Sino po ang familiar dito sa to hit the hay? When you say hay. <laughs> Okay, so sino familiar po sa when you say like to hit the hay? Mm. When you are saying hitting the hay or hit the hay, actually when you go to bed, you can say that you're hitting the sack or hitting the hay. Because both sack and the hay are informal words for bed. Actually, they are both um, referring about bed, sack and bed. So, if you, so that's the meaning of the hitting the sack or hitting the hay. Okay. <laughs> uh, Polly Maria, that is your first time to hear that? Mm. Okay, so another one. Actually, the reason why they say hay, kasi yan yung common na, di ba pag nasa farm tayo, actually, masarap matulog sa hay. Um, Naka-experience ba ako? Oo, I think. Naka-experience ako kasi yung Alam niyo yung merong bahay kubo na pag kayong pumupunta kayo sa mga resorts. Tapos uh, nagka yung kanilang mga natatag doon bubong, yung roof tapos yung kanilang uh, dingding ay made sa dahon or ay hindi ko alam kung ano yung tamang term 
dun sa dahon na yun. Tapos yung kanilang sahig, eh, nilalagyan nila ng parang hay. Parang may dahon na, ewan ko kung anong tawag dun. And napaka-warm sa uh, pakiramdam matulog. Especially kapag yung area ay malamig. Pero ang kinakatakot ko lang kasi baka may katabi tayong snake. <laughs> ah, yes! Dayami! <laughs> Yan yung Tagalog. Tama, Dayami. Yun. So, oh, masarap siya matulog sa bubong mo ay Dayami. Bubong uh, dingding mo ay Dayami. True. Even uh, even tanghaling tapat, yung mong press ko yung feeling mo, press ko yung hangin. Yung simo yung, I mean, hindi siya mainit eh. Kaya, kaya talagang sinasabi nila yung hitting the hay, hitting the sack. Bakit sinabing sack? <laughs> Kasi yung sack is like, actually, yung mga bago ngayon, pag nag, kung, nag, kung pami, familiar kayo sa hiking, sa pag-hiking, um, yung sleeping bed, parang kinuhan lang nila yung idea sa sako, di ba? Pasok ka sa sako, ganun, parang ganun. Tapos yung, kaya hitting the sack. Okay, comfortable. Kapag nasa loob, lalo pag malamig, ganyan, tatago ka sa loob. So, masyado siyang comfortable. Okay, so, number 19 is to let sleeping dogs lie. Okay. To let sleeping dogs lie. Okay, alam niyo po ba ibig sabihin ito? To, he, uh, to let sleeping dogs lie. <laughs> Any idea? Hmm. Sometimes we can hear like, oh. To So when you say to hit or to let dogs lie, meaning to say um, this is inter to avoid interfering with situation, so it must cause trouble. So we are avoiding to interfere. Ina avoid nating makialam sa isang situation na magkukos ito ng trouble. Okay, so that is our idioms. To let the sleeping dogs lie. Yes. Okay, so another one, number 20, is to, to lie. Sleep in. Meaning to say, oh, I want to lie more. Or, it's too early, I want to sleep in. Right? So when you say like that, meaning to say you still want to stay in the bed, Longer than you usually do. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes we experience in the morning like lazy, lazy day, lazy morning. So we don't want to wake up early. We don't want to do a lot of things in the early morning. So. That is that means to let sleeping dogs lie or to lie sleep in. Okay, another one is to lose sleep over something. Okay, um, that is to lose sleep over something. Okay. <laughs> So lose sleep over something. So when you say to lose sleep over something, meaning to worry about something, you're worrying. Or minsan di po ba pagka nakahiga tayo, may naisip tayong gustong gawin, namigahan, the following day. Um, so we're worried. Okay. So another one is to sleep like a baby. Okay, I think this is very common. 
Lagi na naririnig natin, oh, he sleep like a baby. Right? Can you guess? <laughs> what does that mean, to sleep like a baby? Mm. All right, when you say to sleep like a baby, meaning you sleep well. To sleep very deeply. Okay. So to sleep like a log. I think, I don't know if you heard this one before. To sleep like a log. Literally log. Any idea? So when you say to sleep like a log, hi Sham, Villa Flores, hello. <laughs> and kumusta na Sham? Hi. Sham, baka meron kang gustong i-share na idioms regarding sleep. <laughs> okay, maybe you want to share something about that. Ito inaantok na. <laughs> Okay, so maybe la later on, um, you will hit the hay. <laughs> okay, so when you say to sleep like a log, this is to sleep very deeply. Yes, to sleep very deeply. Okay. And uh, number 24 is to sleep on it. What is that means? To sleep on it. Or to delay, meaning to say this is uh, to delay making a decision until the next day so that you have time to think over it. Minsan eh, maririnig po natin yan eh. Sa Tagalog, ano ba sa Tagalog yan? Pagka yung merong mga decision making, merong tinatanong sa atin, sasabihin natin, oh teka, patulugin mo muna ako after tomorrow. Sasagutin ko yung <laughs> tanong mo. Di ba? So, me, we delay. Kumbaga, pinag-iisipan muna natin mabuti. Yung ating, the, yung ating decision. Okay, and, and the last one is to turn in. Number 25 is to turn in. We need to say is to go bed. To turn in. And uh, not only to go bed. We are using the word to turn in like to turn in your homework to turn in your um, project to your boss. So there's a lot of um, a lot of word we can use to turn in. But we can use also this one as an idiom, sa sl sleep. Okay, so, okay, so for the meantime, that is our topic for tonight about idioms, about sleep, because gabi ngayon, kaya ako ng topic ko ay about idioms ng sleep. So, I hope meron po tayong natutunan. Ngayon, gusto ko pong magtanong sa inyo, ano po yung idioms, kahit Tagalog, na, na inyong familiar na naaalala lagi, na minsan naririnig natin sa ating mga kasambahay, kaibigan, kasi tayong Pilipino, mahilig tayo sa not direct word. Right? Minsan, dinadaan natin sa um, another term. <laughs> I always say sleep tight. Yes, sleep tight is sleep well. Very good. Me too. Um, sinasabi ko naman, usually I'm using sleep well. Yeah. Sleep tight, <laughs> sleep well. Yeah. So, actually marami tayong mga, um, mga idioms na sa ating language at sa Tagalog. So, okay guys, what time do you usually hit the hay? Okay, <laughs> okay I, <laughs> gagamitin ko ha, gagamitin ko lang yan. What time do you usually hit the hay? Oh yes, sleepy head. True. Uh, madalas naririnig natin yun, oh my God, so sleepyhead. 
especially late at night. Okay, so what time do you usually hit the hay? Guys, do you have a Let me see. 3 p.m. Okay. Why uh, Why you hit the hay at 3 p.m.? <laughs> okay, please explain your answer. Why you hit the hay? Please explain your answer. Why you hit the hay at 3 p.m.? Hit the hay means you go to bed, you sleep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that, I think that is very common for us. Kapag tayo nabubusog, nahanap na natin yung higaan. Minsan kahit nga nakaupo lang, ano, matutulog na tayo. <laughs> okay. Okay, do you fall asleep? Uh, do you fall asleep quickly most of the time? Madali po ba tayong nakakatulog? Madalas po ba tayong madaling makatulog? Ako kasi madalas eh. <laughs> Sa totoo lang, madali ako makatulog, madali rin akong magising. So, yun yung aking, ano, um, kung baga, pag gusto kong matulog, pag ako nakaramdam ng antok, talaga nakakatulog ako. Oh, Sham, I have a sleeping disorder. So, so meaning to say, uh, you twist and turn, you toes on your bed. So, hmm, so bakit ka nagkakaroon ng, ano, ng sleeping disorder? Um, meron ka bang, ano ba tawag doon sa may sleeping disorder? Yung hindi nakakatulog. Most probably, pag may sleeping disorder ka kasi nasanay yung body clock mo, nagising ka sa gabi. Ah, insomnia. Oo nga. Thanks, Pauline Myriad. So, that means nagkakaroon ka ng insomnia. Ah. And, uh, nurse yan si Pauline Myriad. <laughs> ano ba maganda pag may sleeping disorder? Magandang gawin. Kapag tayo may sleeping disorder, Usually, kapag uh, may, ang alam ko, pagka mayroong sleeping uh, disorder, ang isa sa alam kong cure or treatment, um, ano eh, Kapag tayo, ang alam ko kasi pagka meron tayong sleeping disorder, ang naiisip ko is, con, tama, consult it regularly and consult. Ah, sometimes I sleep early, sometimes I sleep late. Or, ayun. Hmm. Oh, tama yun. Kasi pagka meron tayong sleep disorder, una, pag nagkakaroon tayo ng stress, or may nakasanayan yung body clock natin na like panggabi, or ano. Oh. I think because of health problems, so consult the yung doctor talaga kung, kung alam mong uh, yun yung problem. Ah, isa rin yun, yung hypothyroid. True. Agree ako dun. Sa, kasi yung ate ko meron din siyang hypothyroid eh. Hindi rin siya madaling makatulog. Meron din siyang sleep disorder. So may tinitake ang medicine pagka ganyan or wala naman. Hinintay mo lang kung kailang kaantukin. Ako matutulog. Hinintay mo lang.
Ah, wala. So, ina- inaantay mo lang kung kailan ka lang antukin nung ka lang matutulog. I see. Better. Kasi, mayarap din yung inom tayo ng inom ng gamot, iba. I see. So, dapat pala, pag ganyan, pag inantok ka na, hindi ka na pwedeng istorbohin. Kasi pagka, uh, okay, you should consult your doctor, psychiatrist, or endocrinologist. Drink some warm water, dim lights, or relax music. Meditate. Oh, may maintenance na daw siya. <laughs> may maintenance ka forever na yon. Ay, ang, pag ako yung hindi makakat, nagkakanda tulog, actually, pag, ang ginagawa ko, pinapagod yung sarili ko, like, naglilinis ako, <laughs> naglalaba, <laughs> para pag napagod ako tulog. <laughs> oh, yes, you need to take those medication at this level. Tyroxine. Yan sa mga, may sleep disorder. Pero importante po yung mag-consult tayo sa doctor natin or psychiatrist kasi sometimes hindi natin alam kung saan talaga nagmumula yung ating pagkakaroon ng um, disorder sa pagtulog. Okay, so ang isang tanong ko po is how many hours of sleep do you usually get per night? Oh my God, how many hours? <laughs> Ako, actually, um, usually, sa gabi ang natutulog ko lang is like 2 hours to 4 hours. And then, nagigising ako ng maaga. Tapos, uh, siguro mga around 6, 7, tinatamaan uli ako ng anto, kaya natutulog uli ako. <laughs> ah, you have a good sleep, 7 to 8 hours, Sham. Mukhang ako yung may ano, sleeping disorder. <laughs> Hindi ikaw. <laughs> Kasi ako, ano eh, ang tulog ko, usually, mata- marami na yung 4 hours sa gabi. Ako naman hindi. Hindi naman ako, pag ako nakatulog kasi ng at least 2 hours, energetic na ako noon. And then, sa daytime, especially morning, inaantok na uli ako. <laughs> Oy, polymeriad actually it depends on your age is the preferred sleep time. Oh, how about pagka nasa 40s na, ilang oras ba ang dapat natulog ng 40s or 30s or 20s? Ang difference noon. <laughs> ah, wow. Maganda yung siyam. Pag nakakatulog ka, dire-diretso na yung tulog mo. Unlike me, kapag ako nakatulog, may marinig lang akong kaluskos. Oh my God, ang bigis ng mata kong magising. <laughs> Tsaka meron akong body clock talaga na the same time nagigising talaga ako like 4 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the morning. Ano ko siya? Body clock ko talaga yun kasi dating may klase ako ng early ng ganyan. Ingit ako sa inyo sa 6 to 8 hours na tulog sa gabi ah. <laughs> dahil ano eh parang hindi ko maalala na kung kailan ako nagkaroon ng ganyang kahabang tulog eh ever since kasi tulog ko mahaba ng 4 hours sa gabi pero awa naman ng <laughs> ng working ka 4 hours ka lang Oh my God, mahirap naman yun siya, 24 hours gising. Pero kaya ko yung 24 hours. Pero more than that, nababangag na ako. <laughs> Iba na sinasagot ko. <laughs> oh, nagdadrop na yung aking ano nun. <laughs> oh my God, hindi ko na kaya. Nung bata ako, nung siguro mga sabihin natin same age ninyo, Kaya ko yung three days na well, straight, walang tulog, kahit mag five days pa. Pero, totoo yung kasabihan na kapag umiidad na eh, uh, nagliles na yung 
energy natin, yung lakas natin, kahit sa pagtulog. Kasi nung bata pa ako, ano eh, kahit five days na wala akong tulog, hindi ako nakakaramdam ng headache. Pero ngayon, pag pang third day na, doon ako nakakaramdam. First day, second day, wala pa akong headache niyan. Pero third day, ayan na, bangag na. <laughs> Lutang na, ika nga. Naniniwala ako doon sa edad. Dati hindi. Nagtataka ako noon, di ba? Pagka yung, halimbawa, nasa biyahe. Di ba pag bata tayo, pag nasa biyahe, gising na gising tayo, hindi tayo, kahit wala tayong tulog, gising pa rin tayo sa along the way. Tapos mag- nagtataka tayo, mga magulang natin, nakakatulog sila, no? Alam nyo, ngayon, uh, na-realize ko na nitong mga nagbabiyahe ng medyo umidad na, nakakatulog na ako. <laughs> Kahit na yung hindi mo sinasadya, nagda-drop talaga yung mata mo. Agree ako dyan sa ano, edad na yan. Hindi na naikakaila. <laughs> okay, so, another, ano, um, so do you think, um, yung tulog ninyo sa gabi or yung 6 to 8 hours is enough? Yung tulog ninyo, enough ba yun sa inyo? Yung 6 to 8 hours? <laughs> Agree. <laughs> Totoo ka dyan. Totoo ka dyan, Polymeriad. When you're a kid, you thought sleep is a punishment. True. Okay, so, <laughs> when you're getting old, sleep is like a vacation. Hi, Tamis! Hello! Ayan, batiin mo rin yung ano, mga kasama natin, si Polly Myriad, si Sham, Tamis. Meron tayo isang viewer, di ko alam kung sino siya. <laughs> Hi sa'yo, sino ka man, kasi hindi ka nagko-comment. <laughs> Comment ka lang para mabati ka rin. Okay. Magyakapan din kayo, mga guys. Kung di pa kayo mga nagkakayakap-yakapan dyan, magyakapan kayo mamaya. Hi, Rain. Kung ikaw man yan, Rain. Ayaw niya siguro mag-comment. Hello. <laughs> so, to, to, ano, agree ako dun. Balik tayo dun sa to, ano, pagtulog na yan. Agree ako dyan sa, kumbaga, yung pagtulog natin. Nung tayo bata is like a punishment. Kasi yung bata tayo, excited tayo maglaro eh. Excited tayo sa lahat ng bagay. Pero tayo nung, nung tayo nag getting older, kinakapagura na natin ang lahat ng bagay. <laughs> Pagod sa trabaho. Parang, parang yung feeling natin is um, yung reward na sa atin yung makatulog. Kasama pa po dun yung ano, yung Um, maraming isipin. <laughs> Kaya naghahanap ng ano, ng tulog. Ayan. Okay, so guys, meron naman tayong gusto kong medyo mapag-usapan natin is yung uh, emotions. Okay. <laughs> Meron nagsabi, eto ka, sandali, may nag-message siya, may nag-PM, sabi niya, love life daw ang pag-usapan. Pwede ba? <laughs> Pwede daw ba love life? <laughs> oh guys, love life daw. <laughs> okay, ano ba tanong niya patungkol sa love life? Pasok ko dyan. Ah, napagahalatang walang love life. <laughs> o ayaw talagang lumab life. <laughs> may, may, may nag-message lang sa Facebook. Pwede ba ate love life? <laughs> okay. Bakit pas yung love life? Anyari? <laughs> Kulite, no? Okay. So, balik tayo. Pas muna tayo sa love life. Eh. Sabi ni Siyam, pas daw muna siya eh. Okay, so tell me, what's the longest you've ever gone without sleep? The longest. 
Ano yung longest ninyo na wala kayong tulog, guys? <laughs> A zero si siya. <laughs> okay, what is the longest, guys? Na 42 hours? Ah, ah, I know, I understand you. Kasi nurse ka. <laughs> How about you, Sham? Yung longest mo na hindi ka nakakatulog. 24 hours? 42 hours? May medyo mahirap yan. Medyo mahaba-haba yan eh. Na 24 hours, di ba? Bakit ano? Bakit naman umabot ka ng 42 hours na wala kang tulog? Okay. Bakit, bakit naman ikaw siyam 24 hours? Paki-explain. Bakit kayo umabot ng ganyang oras? Dahil ba sa trabaho? Or sadyang di lang talaga magkanda tulog? <laughs> Twenty four hours mahigit so siguro mga ah walang kapalitan bagyo hindi pumasok ang kapalit oh my god yun ang mahirap tapos maraming pasyente oh hi sham is insomnia sa akin trabaho din dati ah na experience ko na hindi matulog kasi nagdown ng system <laughs> and hindi namin pwedeng iwanan dahil company big company siya so hindi namin pwedeng iwanan ng system na nakadown. Otherwise, big loss ng company yun. Ah, nagda-double ship. Yes, true. Kaya tayo nagiging ano eh, no? Nagiging zombie. <laughs> um, nung sa pag-online teaching ko naman, sa pag-online tu na turo ko dati, na-experience ko rin yung 24 hours gising kasi na naging demand. <laughs> Na-in-demand ka. <laughs> sa mga student. Yung matutulog ka na lang eh, magko-close ka na lang ng slot mo eh. Meron pang nagbubuk sa'yo. Ganon. <laughs> Dumidire-direcho. Eh dahil uh, double pay, nag enjoy ka ngayon dun sa computation ng utak mo dun sa kita mo. Nakakalimutan na natin minsan yung health natin. Eh naniningil pa naman yung ating ano, parusugan. Kaya... O, oh, totoo yan. <laughs> ako, na-experience ko, nagtuturo ako. Dahil sobrang anto ko, nagsya-shutdown na ako. Iba na sinasagot ko sa si student ko. <laughs> Tapos, bigla akong maaalala. Oh my God, ano nga ba yung... Kasi ulitin ako na eh. Ulitin na siya. What, teacher? What did you say? <laughs> Mabang magugulang tangkang ganun, ano? Okay. All right, all right, Polly Marian. Thanks sa iyong pagano, sa iyong panonood ngayong gabi. We're almost one hour. Anyway, i close ko to nang exactly one hour. <laughs> Oo. So, okay, so another question before we will say goodbye tonight. Um Do you use an alarm to wake up yourself or nakarelay na lang kayo sa body clock? Kapag gumigising kayo. Hi! <laughs> Thanks, Polly. Nag, ano kayo? Nag, pag kayo pa nagigising, nag-a-alarm pa ba kayo? Or body clock na lang talaga? Ako body clock na lang eh. <laughs> you can trust your body clock. Alarm talaga. Okay, so, yun yung, nung nagtuturo ako ng madaling araw, nag alarm talaga ako, tatlo pa yung alarm ko. Minsan di mo pa. May, may telepono na, may iPad, may dalawang, tatlong alarm clock ako. Pero minsan, pag sumusobra na yung antok at pagod, wala na. <laughs> Lahat canceled. Nakakatulog ang sarap ng tulog eh. Okay, so, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you sa pag- Participate ninyo sa aking, um, sa aking live stream tonight. I'm happy. Thank you, Polly Miriad. Thank you, Sham. Thank you, Tamis, sa iyong pagdalaw. Maybe kay Rain, kung si Rain man yung nasa kabilang line. Thank you so much. Sa matyagang panunood. <laughs> I'm looking forward to see you again. And once again, 
I want to say good night and sleep tight ba? <laughs> sleep tight ba? Ganun eh. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Again, this is Teacher Ada. Good night. Bye.